Yeah, so the COMMANDS trial um, was a study which investigated the, the drug Luspatacept, which is approved already for ring sideroblastic patients failing ESA therapy, but now in the frontline setting. So patients with low-risk MDS, irrespective of ring sideroblastic status, uh, but EPO or ESA naive were randomized if they were lower risk according to the IPSSR, um, so very low, low or intermediate, um, and um, were actually red blood cell transfusion dependent with at least two units of red blood cells within eight weeks. And uh, this head-to-head -head comparison with the primary endpoint, uh, also not only um, having being transfusion independent, but also a hemoglobin increase um, showed superiority, uh, a significant superiority of uh, Luspatacept versus EPO or ESA um, therapy in this lower risk MDS patient. There were no new safety signals observed and um, also not only the response rate was higher in the uh, patients uh, as a first-line therapy but also the durability of response then a subgroup analysis was performed and the drug actually performed better in all subgroups there was only one subgroup where equal uh, responses were observed and these were the ring sideroblastic negative patients so um, I think number one, the trial is a very important milestone in low risk MDS um, drug development. I think it sets a new standard for first line therapy in uh, lower risk MDS uh, patients. And you, it's also a proof that Luspatacept is not like, like another growth factor or another ESA. I think it differentiates with clinical response. And uh, in line with this, statement we also presented a translational uh, work which was a poster presentation where gene expression profiling of uh, patients bone marrow prior uh, to either luspatacept or esa epo therapy um, was actually correlated um, with outcomes or with clinical response of these patients and what the data show is actually that um, the gene expression profiling um, predicting also response and associated with response were completely different between LUSPA and uh, ESA, uh, EPO therapy. Um, so different pathways were actually uh, activated or downregulated and predicting uh, the clinical response. Uh, also some um, uh, very granular uh, data were uh, looked at at specific subgroups of cellular subgroup of patients, erythroid progenitor cells where also some expression profiles were made. And to make a long story short here as well, because it's a complex poster, which cannot be explained uh, like uh, within two minutes, um, I think uh, the mode of action of both agents is um, different. They may of course act complementary uh, when given together. This is, of course, um, the scope of um, current clinical investigations. There are trials now running where the combination of uh, ESA plus Luspatacept is investigated. Um, and Luspatacept, I think, um, appears to be uh, selectively uh, differentiating, maturating um, late-stage progenitor cells, where, whereas the pathways activated uh, maybe by EPO are more in the early progenitor cells. So it's basically a complementary um, differentiation and maturation of the eryth erythropoiesis, ineffective erythropoiesis um, in MDS patients.